But you're all sitting back here and moving up closer to you. <laughs> Happy Father's Day, Grandfather's Day to, to all uh, dads and grandpas, great grandpas out there. Do we have any great grandpas in here? Jack, great grandpa, Roy, all right. Where are your great grandpas? Al. I want to talk a little bit about my dad. I want to give you a chance to tell a story about uh, your dad or grandpa. If you'd like to tell a story, I'd I love to tell a story. I might have even told it before. I can't remember if I ever told it here or not. My dad was, it was uh, an old Marine. He was, he was a tough guy to live with. He wanted to make sure my brother Jim and I were uh, strong and courageous. And uh, he would take us over. To, to Wheeling Creek, and we would camp at, at Wheeling Creek, and, and my dad would, would drink a few beers, I, I have to admit, when he would get to a certain point, he would take us out snake hunting. He would uh, look for, for a pile of rocks there at, at the creek, and, and we would lift up snakes, and he would, we would see one under the, the rock, and he would say, say Joe, pick that snake up. So I had to learn how to pick up snakes, and I got bit a couple of times. But they were just water snakes; they, they didn't hurt that bad. One time, we saw a great big pile of rocks across this uh, across the creek, and there was a real deep water hole. And we had to swim across to get to it. But we swam across this, this deep water hole to get to it. We climbed up on the rock, and, and he saw this one huge rock, and he, he said to my brother and I, "Go ahead, put that big rock up there. We'll see if there's any under there." And, and so my brother and I got down, we got down a rock, and we heaved it up, flipped it over, and it was this huge snake. And it wasn't a water snake. I, I wasn't sure what kind. He didn't want me to pick it up. He wouldn't let me pick it up. And uh, it, it was at least six feet long. And it finally crawled that right down back into that water hole that we swam across. And we could not get back across the creek unless we, we went to that same water hole. So we stood there about five minutes, and um, finally my dad said, all right, follow me, and he towed right into the middle of that water hole and swam, swam across. Well, about an hour later, my brother and I finally got the courage <laughs> to jump in and, and swim across. Now, the funny thing about my dad, uh, later in life, probably when he, when he got to be in his early 70s. He started going to church with me. And, and he became a spiritual man in, in those last 10 years or so. And uh, we, we had uh, many, many good times, many good talks when I would pick him up and, and drive him to church. And, and he would sit and listen to my sermons very patiently. So uh, those are some good memories. Anyone else have a story they'd like to tell or anything that they, they would like to share about their dad? Sure. Yeah, like I said, you the belly button with the club. <laughs> <laughs> you
this song because I think you can relate to it. Uh, and, and my sermon is, is final after this, this song. Why be Let's try. Why be What have I ever done to deserve even one? Tell me.